What's going on people, it's Truman here and welcome back to another episode of Portal Nights and sorry for being quiet in the last last episode, I recorded it late at night so all, all my parents were in bed and my siblings. Also, if you don't mind going down to the comment section, commenting which game you'd like me to play and if you click on my Twitter I have created a poll which allows me to know which games you play. There are four games on there, there are Minecraft, GTA 5, Beat Saber and Rocket League. I personally would like to play any of those games because I enjoy all of them but there is one game that I enjoy the most out of them lot and I want you guys to be able to try and see if you can vote for the right game which I would enjoy the most even though I do enjoy all of them. Let's have a look see what we've got to complete left. I know we can't go on numbers leap because it is actually too overpowered for my level so I need to level up a bit more so I can create some better armor and to see what we need to upgrade this we need iron bars to upgrade it as we cannot go past this armor unless we find some like we have found the helmet and the chest plate for for our person right in fact we'll go to garnet peaks as there's only one portal we need to find as well as there is another NPC that we have not found and it seems to be a trade NPC which we can possibly take home with us so I'll see you guys there alright guys I have no clue where this NPC could be I do know that we have searched that tower and the other tower we've searched this house because I'm pretty sure that's where we found the NPC that had all the animals. It is. In fact, does that show that we've not found them? I think that shows that we've not found uh, the NPC because we've actually taken the NPC off this world. And I'm actually going to nick some of this, some of these fences for our world. Because it saves me time building it and getting all the resources and you guys can literally just sit there and watch me build straight away rather than me either doing a time lance, skipping it or being able to have to wait for it to be crafted. So I have no clue where this other portal could be. It's possibly one of them hidden portals which are very hard to find. Yes, we found the big master M big master portal which is that one and that's allowed us to fight the big boss battle which if you guys haven't watched that episode I suggest you go back to it even though you can't really hear me on that one for the main reason that the boss is really loud and I probably should have turned the volume down but on this game it automatically saves everything so you can't really turn back and not and do it over again as it saves everything so you cannot just be like you know what I, that was bad I can't release that but I can't restart it either I've got this dungeon which I don't think I've actually gone down before and I'm actually going to nick some of these doors because when we build some bigger structures we need some bigger doors and they will help us a lot more so let me actually drop this so we can pick that up we need to see what these rockets do because I haven't seen whoa <laughs> they just like shoot us up then which it actually might have been alright because if we got into trouble with some sort of enemy monster or anything we can just jump out the way but that's what the diving that's what the diving is for go through here oh we've got another lightning bat the thunder gazer I'm just gonna stick calling them bats because they, they, they just look like bats and we need to kill this one before it get lower we need some more gamma so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these gamma potions and I'm actually just going to put that wheat there in fact I'm going to trash this wheat 
So we've got 14 straw blocks, which we don't really need anymore until we start building properly. And, oh, we found the actual arms for that set. So what we can do is we can unequip that and we can actually equip the copper ones. So we've got more armor now, which, which will help us a lot. And we can now near enough finish that mannequin as he's got the rest of our armor on. I need to recreate the starter armor so then it can show what armor I've had throughout the game. Hopefully we can play this game long enough to be able to get all the armor. Hmm, I have no clue to see if we can go anywhere else. Just gotta go back up here. But it just seems like that was the one of the only caves around. I could be wrong, but I haven't been able to find anything else. I mean, I know I've got to have a look up onto there, which I'm going to go up on top of this castle slash tower to see what I can get and what I can see because I'm pretty sure I've gone up here before. It's just a very long way up. And I know I said that I'm going to be using the mining helmet to find my way around, but what it looks like is if I'm in these worlds I need a I need a good helmet to be able to survive rather than just oh, my backpack for I do not know what that is and we have leveled up so again I'm gonna increase my strength that no, my health my strength and I'm gonna increase my wisdom this time because I want my gamma to be up also, I have no clue what this one is. It's a recipe for a classic bench. That's gonna, that's so much better than just having to craft or or find them. Because if we want to be able to make it look like, I just I don't want to attack him. If we want to create some sort of a kingdom at one point, I know it's a very long stretch to say that. If we want to create a kingdom at one point, we. We can because we don't really need the materials. We, we don't have to look around for benches all the time as now we can craft them. But let me just grab this. To build up here. I wonder if they reset every time you go off the world. And we have now got the leggings. Which is a lot better. You drop these. And equip these. So... All we need to do is get a cape because this, no, this is the cape. I thought this was like something you could put over a cape, a vanity that you can put over. But we need to level up to level 9. We are level 7 so far. It's going to be a while until we actually get a cape. And this cape actually helps us with our health regeneration and our armor. So, can we see around where that portal is it's definitely not on top of there hmm is it down the edge of here I have no clue where this portal could be it looks like we've gone through all the structures hmm what flasks have I just, I've got that cat flask I can just jump down and not die we have protection. There we go. Uh, wait, spell damage. Never mind. I thought I saw a paw on it. So I was like, yep, yeah, I'll jump down. But I would have died. And I'd have lost coins, which isn't the best thing. And these are... I think these are sharpening stones. I'm not too sure. But we've got 45 stone blocks. So we don't really need to pick them up. So we need to go down here. And I need to see if I can actually find it. Because... If we cannot find it, then we can't go on to the next world, which it will be a lot better if we go on to the next world, because then that's more worlds that we've adventured through, and mainly this episode it is going to be adventuring, but I do not want it to be sort of the type of one where you just sit there watching me walk around all the time. So if I do end up finding it, I will let you guys know, and... 
if I don't, I'll keep you guys updated on what we possibly can do next. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Right, guys, I, I can't seem to find it at the minute, but I, th I found a massive dungeon, which has got quite a few mobs in it, and I've just realised that I can just walk through them all and they can't damage me. I mean, it will make the adventure a lot quicker, but... I won't get as much XP or anything from them from me just doing this walking through but the main focus is to find this portal and if I can't find it we can't get onto the next world so I just need to find it and if we can't seem to find it we're gonna go onto a different world which we haven't even looked for the portal yet so at the minute we're just wandering through here and then that portal will go onto the ne onto a different world that we haven't even seen and the world we haven't adventured it has a few trader villagers or trader NPCs so oh this person here Hector the Guard another adventurer eh have you come to help poor old Hector or are you merely seeking gold and glory yeah I'll accept I'm supposed to contain the thunder gazers here. It's impossible job. I am so very tired. So I've actually got to kill the thunder gazers. Right, that so makes sense. So it's actually pretty easy to kill them. We just need to kill these guys as well. Which these ones are a lot harder to kill. But we've got these. What are these orbs around us? I have no clue. But if we neutralize this guy. It seems that they actually electrocute them and they are on my team. So, once we've defeated quite a few Thunder Gazers, we can now just focus on going back to that guy and completing his quest. So it looks like there was an NPC that was just a hidden NPC, which is a good thing. So we just get one more Thunder Gazer and then... Hmm, I'm actually going to walk straight past this guy. Sorry guys, my uh, recording decided to be a bit weird. And it looks like he dropped a... Oh, we've already got the recipe for a bench, but it might sell for quite a bit. So let's now go back down to this person. <laughs> go back to Hectica the, go Hector the guard, not Hectica. And we could possibly help him and he might give us a little clue where the portal is i don't know if uh, they have added that feature into the game thank you friend i have i haven't much but all i have is yours keep your weather eye open there are worse than thunder gates about these days well that is true and oh what i think that we need that to be able to create like these which I don't know whether they give me a r really good item which allows me to sort of progress a bit better I'm not sure what they are but I'm hopefully that we can come to that time and I need to empty something in my backpack which I will in fact we'll drop these carrots because we've got carrot seeds um, what else can we drop? We need sweet potato seeds. We don't really need emerald tree seeds. We don't need spring tree seeds. Again, some more emerald tree seeds. But there's quite a few tree seeds in here. So, oh, and also we can try out this claw now. This mining claw. And I can now accept this from him. Which I'm pretty happy about because energy crystals seem to be actually pretty decent for now. We'll see what we can get when we get enough energy crystals. And there is a person... Well, there's a boss down here. Oh, God. I think it's actually, like I said, a hidden portal. But we shouldn't fear too much and try and find it as it might be close, might not be close. And there's actually there's quite a few bosses on this world as well. Which quite a few monsters on this world actually, which seems to be 
makes it a little bit better as we can now create things and get more XP and Right, we found the portal guys. It's actually in this big room and there is monsters everywhere. So it's gonna take us a little a little effort to be able to kill all these people without dying. Thank god they're slow. Because if they was actually quick, we would die quicker than we want to. I can't see anything, it's too <laughs> fighting too close to the walls. Right. So, come on, let's knock this guy up. Right, we need to see if they've actually dropped anything else that we can pick up. There's some bones over here, and there's bones, experience, and mana. So, we can actually fill this in now. And I'm actually really glad that we've got the energy ball, as it will. I, I'm not sure what it is or how it can help us, but I know we can create like vanity gift boxes and all these other gifts, which is pretty good if you ask me. Right guys, we've just landed in somewhere called the Plains of Passage. It seems that we get coal blocks here, um, we can get garden mushrooms, alabaster bushes and cotton bus bushes. But there's two NPCs, but there's actually quite a few monsters on this world. So hopefully we can just look around. There are no portals, so it seems to be one of those worlds like our own, where it's actually like a nice peaceful world. But it's not that peaceful due to there being monsters. And there is a chest over there, so I'm going to try and get that chest. And we've now found another place where we can get coal as well, which will be good and I am going to collect coal while I'm here right, I need to mine up here oh, get up here there are what can we get by walking around <laughs> oh my god we got a sharpshooter scales peel the sharpshooter scales that actually creates a lot of protection for us right just need to go over here now because she needs help and I wish she'd stop chasing me Fallen Squire. Well, he, he failed at his job, so I'm not going to really fail at mine. As he's a Fallen Squire. And this tree is in the way. Yeah, come down here. Jesus. Hiding up there, weren't he? The alab alabaster bushes actually give us berries. I probably should have knew that by now. <laughs> not acting so surprised. And please, my copper safe is broken, and with that new one, I can't bring in the harvest. Yeah. Right. So I've got to, I've got to return her with it. So I've got to either make one, which I don't actually know how you make a safe. Is it down in here? So, mm, I don't know what it'd be under a safe. Oh, copper safe. It is created by the altar and we actually need to grab some emeralds and we need to get copper bars. The reason we need emeralds is because we need to create em vagrant emerald dust. So have we got any emeralds on us at the minute? We haven't got any emeralds on us at the current time. But we have got them at home so when I get home we can actually create that for her and possibly deliver her in the same episode. But we need to go back to that big castle as much as we hated it because it actually said we could go down underneath and I don't know whether there's something in here actually so I need to have a look see if there is something in here because if there is something in here then we we have found like some sort of a hidden item but it doesn't seem like there's anything in here at the current minute no, there's nothing in here at the current minute. So, we need to find a way up. Rather than just jumping around. And I do not know what these guys are. So I do not want to mess with them. But, we've managed to get up. We can go here now. So that's where we first came in. But we can actually go down. So there might be a chest down here as well. Let's 
So I'll just open this door. Is there anything here? No. So is there anything? There's those fallen guards, but other than that, there's nothing too major at all down here. I mean, if we, we get about six of them, it, there will be a bit. It, it, if we get about six of them, there will be dangerous for us. And these thunder gazers, there's quite a few of these in this world as well. But I don't know where them red lightning things have come from, as they are dealing damage to ones that we're not attacking, which is a lot better. Because if they're dealing damage to ones that are attacking us, it's going to take us not as long to be able to kill them. I just walk through here, get all this XP. Right, we've nearly leveled up again. Right guys, just need to go down here. See what we can find. I know we need to return to the top of the I hate these ones that I just up the top and cannot hit them. I just gotta kill this fallen squire. And it should be easier now to go through. There's a bit of XP up here. More doorways. Oh, that is one big chest. That is one big chest. In fact, hmm, I have no idea what would be in it. What's this? Whatever it is, it's flashing. So we just need to. We get rid of something out and trash them areas. We can trash that. It is a ring that provides us with 40% more armor, which is really good. Now, I have no clue what else I could trash. Hmm. I could trash them. They're very easy to get because most worlds have alabaster mushrooms now. So let's teleport to the top. Hmm. I'm trying to think what we need to find one more person. I have a feeling that that was obviously one. But we need to find the other one. Hmm. Right, what's this structure? There's a structure here that has a lot more in fact what the hell was chasing me then? We have the structure which we can go down here and Hmm. Trying to think. Let's kill this squire. So we can cause the level. Right. Let's go through here. We'll actually, just walk through here because uh, they can't hit me unless I stop moving. Right, shut that door on him. And we have found one more final chest. Which is give us the berserker leg braces. That means we've got the we've got the leggings, we've got the powder sharpshooter, we've got the powder sharpshooter scale as well. So we can start to create another few things. A few like if we dress any more mannequins, we can now dress them. Hmm. Alright guys, I've got to go back home, so then we can now create that safe. Right, we need to get some emeralds, which we should have some. So we have 14 emeralds. We can actually get some more bars cooking, because we need bars. And while they cook, we can go into the... Where is it? We did place down a... That's not what it's called. We did place down a altar last time, did we not? Hmm. Seems a bit strange that. 
So we actually need to go get some more copper now, as it didn't save last time we placed some down. Hmm. Yeah, right, I'm just gonna go get some copper and I'll be right back with you guys. Right guys, I've just come back from Garnet Peaks as it has emeralds and it has copper. So now I can go into here, craft the altar, which is all the way down at the bottom, craft the altar. And then once I've crafted that, I can actually craft, in fact I need some room. So I'm going to go empty the empty my inventory a little bit by putting the rest of these on this mannequin here as we actually need so there's got a full set of armor on this mannequin and we're going to get in fact reinforced one sword I should get the copper sword actually I should have the copper sword by now if I don't have the copper sword in fact, is, it, is it better than the copper sword Right, I need to go down to. I'm just going here. Hmm. Right, reinfine. Oh, it is the reinfine sword. Hmm. I need to get scales. I still don't know how to get scales. And then I can get, like, the great hacks. But. Now, I should place down the. Oh, now I can place down the altar here. I can go into. here. Get the vagrant emeralds. I don't know how many I need, so I'm gonna craft four of them. Hmm. Yeah, because you can create the safe, so then this should be enough for the safe. Copper safe, there it is. So once that's done, I can craft one of these. And then I can go back to where was it we went? We was at Passage of the Plains. Yes, because the other person wanted them. Right, guys, I've just appeared back in the world, and I actually need to go down there where there's that woman with the green marker around her NPC badge. It shouldn't be too far. So let's talk to her, it's even better than my old one. I don't have much but here take this, I only wish it could be more. So we've got a lot of XP and 47 coins, so we're actually really close to levelling up. I'm, I'm going to go get these wheat from here. I need to empty my inventory though because my inventory is really bad. Right, I'm going to go home and enter my inventory. Right, I'm just going to enter my inventory now, as I've got quite a bit that needs to be done. So I can put random things in here, I'm going to put loads of other random things, as it will help us with that inventory space. In fact, I need to actually create some more. Chests. So I'm going to create some more chests and then I'm going to leave the episode here. One more. And I think I actually need wood. I'm not sure if I've got still got wood on me. No. To craft a chest, I need... I don't need... I need wood and copper. I should have wood and copper somewhere. I have wood there. And oh no. I think that's going to be the worst part about putting the empty next to the chest because if I click on them, I can't empty it out. I can craft one more chest. I think it's one more. No, I can craft two actually. A lot better. So now I can actually sort out our whole inventory. Put that in the hot bar as well. And there. Right, so now I can place these in here. And that is my inventory actually sorted out. 
it's now com near enough completely empty. I just need to sell something to these. I can sell this recipe for 20 and that's pretty much all I'm going to sell to her. And then that is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please go down, let me know in, by leaving a comment. And while you're down there, please click that like button, please subscribe, please show your friends as it will help my channel grow. And there's also a poll on Twitter, like I said at the start of the video, which determines what the next game I am going to play. Probably make a series out of, probably not. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.